Hello and welcome back to another KSP episode with me and if you have a deja vu feeling that's exactly what it is however this time we are launching our distant explorer not to Urlum but to Sarnas yes I'm a little bit sorry for the repetitive content but I had you know these transfer windows lined up one after the other so I was actually trying to get another Starship episode in between but the only thing that I managed actually was to uh, miss it a little bit and uh, it will be coming on uh, later on but in that case you get a chance to um, enjoy this wobbly rocket as it shoots up into the orbit there we go and bye bye boosters and apparently they did some face hug Ooh, whoa 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 hold on i think they actually hurt my oh hold on oh it's dancing all over the place come on okay fly like a plane fly like a plane we've got this We've got this. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So I was saying, yes, the idea was that we, this thing is supposed to go to Sarnas. Let's hope it does. And uh, once it gets into the orbit, circularizes, we will be dumping this boosting stage anyway. So we really don't care that one of the fins fell off. As long as the you know, content inside is intact, I think we're good. Although that backflip did give me a quite a scare though. So yeah, there we go. Turn around. All right. Ascend stage done. Point it. Downrange and engage the engine. So right now there should be no more air resistance so i'm expecting that the effect of uh, the missing fin will be negligible to minimal like i said this is the same this is the same thing essentially however uh, it will be still kind of interesting to see if we manage to reach Sarnas, given that we have wasted a little bit of our Delta V when it comes to, you know, backflips and doing all kind of cool acrobatics. However, it doesn't matter. Let's show the eject angle and we repeat the procedure, you know, same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. Yes. And uh, for those of you that might be wondering, next episode, I'm assuming it's going to be Moho Explorer coming in and inserting itself into the uh, Moho uh, sphere of influence and hopefully into the Moho's orbit. Uh, and uh, just maybe you might get a chance to see it, maybe even before, P before it goes public, if you wait until the end of this episode and click the end screen, top right corner. Whenever I have a chance, I do this to actually reward my loyal viewers in terms of giving them a sneak preview of extra things. And also I do it especially for my Patreons and YouTube members. And they also get some additional things like a specially made an episode for them or, you know, a series or whatnot, depending on how much I have time with. I'm still working on the concepts though. All right. So... That being said, orbit prograde, orbit retrograde, we need to make sure our burn is 2.692.6 meters per second. And as you can tell, we have a total of 5.5 thousand meters per second. So I don't know if it will have enough to insert itself into the southern sphere of influence. Maybe even we will, but that will be, remain to be seen. So right now I'm just trying to get to the firing position where I'm going to assume and kick off the engines, hoping to manage to get to Sarnas eventually. All right. Hitting the burn button and let's see. I mean, the craft is exactly like our Urlum Explorer. I didn't design anything more fancy than that. Because right now, as I said, I just need the initial kick of science that will be sparking off a, a voyage of breakthrough and all that jazz in terms of our back home system. So I'm shooting simple probes that can take a lot of science and send it back to Kerbin, hopefully. 
I've never tested it because the antenna ranges, but I'm kind of hoping that they will succeed because this is one of the biggest antennas that I can throw at them. So if that doesn't work, then I have, I'll have to have intermediary stations somewhere stationed. So yeah. 500 meters per second to burn and so far so good. There we go. All right. And almost there. One thing that I'm kind of missing, guys, from this previous uh, versions of KSP was uh, the ability to disable, you know, the heat damage and the re-entry. Because I, we were doing a lot of those arrow break maneuvers around Jewel, Lathe, and all that kind of stuff. Which for nowadays you really have to have either, you know, a thickest shield possible or just some sort of a cheat sheet. So, yeah. I'm not sure how much feasible they are, but they were kind of fun. At least I thought so. So yeah, there we go. Expanding everything and uh, let's see, there we go. Sending the probe to Sarnus. Where is my probe core? There's my probe core. Sarnus Explorer probe. Thank you. All right. Point it in a very nice direction and there we go. Another Explorer probe leaving the Kerbin system. So, as always, guys, you know what to do. Do hit that like button if you're appreciating the content. And also, make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.